I was one of the very early members of uh, Madras Cricket Club. It was in its old avatar where there were the uh, small pavilion. In, the, in those days, only if you are a prominent or accomplished sportsman alone could be invited. So I was invited as a tennis player. So I think I'm S22, S32 or something like that. Now it's, it's a much larger club. But those days they had three tennis courts. They had a big, uh, beautiful uh, cricket ground. And they always used to say, which I have also seen, the MCC opening bowlers always picked wickets because they swung the ball. Chapak of those days. Much later, I, we had the privilege to supply the cement for the construction of the present stadium. See, the mu music academy was uh, constructed during the time and various sabhas came up. Music and dance became important in India. And of course, the birth of uh, MGR, Shivaji Ganesan and others. My father being an industrialist of report, I remember going to my, to my father's uh, to meet his visitor, who was, uh, happened to be Shivaji Ganesan. My father was annoyed that I barged in, but I was thrilled that I met Suvazi. That was when I was very young. Like this, there are many instances where famous people have come and I've had a chance to see them. But in those days, no entertainment except a cricket or commentary. The commentary was England, Australia Ashes, which just concluded. If India was went abroad to play, it would come at odd hours of the, the day. There was one radiogram in the house. So five of us, cousins and me, we all, each will fight to, to, to put the ear closest to the microphone, to the, to the dispenser. Those were good days. That is, all you knew was studies and your sports. Other than that, nothing. And the occasional cinema, with permission from everybody, if the movie is good enough for children to see, all those restrictions are fun. So my early days, I would say, is a period of discovery. I discovered this city. See, the, we were in the transition. The anti-Hindi agitation was at its zenith when I had gone to Pudukotai to play in tennis. There is a cup called the Hablak Cup. That is, every college, you mean, I'm talking to my Madras University as a whole, I had to send two people, two nominees, and then singles and dub doubles. I remember I, I won the Have Luck Cup. On our way back, we were coming from uh, Pudukote or something, we stopped. The uh, anti agitation had started. Our car was stopped. We were asked to say many things. And then we will end it on. Time flies. I still remember there was a ship that was marooned and all of us went to see the ship. In those days, museum theater was a place where you could see a lot of plays. I remember seeing uh, Joe's dramas there, also for the other people. Drama was very important. When I started the Hindu format was different compared to the present format, the front page. I remember the earlier page. Hindu ran a magazine called Sport and Pastime. So all of us, you see, either if you do well in cricket or tennis or anything, paper left, paper on the first open the Hindu see see if you if you in those days if you took in the league three wickets your is a paper score. Twenty five runs is his paper score. So if we cross that uh, then then you want to see whether you were in the paper. The Hindu used to cover all intercollegiate tennis tournaments. I remember the Tyagaraja no Tarandar. So he would every day the, 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 there's a intercollegiate match, he will ask both the, the, the winner and the loser, what, how did you do, what, how did you play? And he will choose whether to write or not. 
on, on that period. He will, or he will just say so and so, beat so and so. So I remember many conversations with him. See, Hindu was the only paper which disseminated knowledge or news on cricket. Hindu had J. H. Fingleton. So, if if there was an international top, it will be so J. H. V. and S. K. Guru Nanak. These two people, I remember, we wait for the Hindu see the sports page and see we were we were not interested. We were not politically clued. Nothing in the newspaper to interest us except the sports page. The sports page turned out the whole everything and all sports used to be covered. For a long time, the only paper I knew was the Hindu. I did not know any other paper. It is only as I grew up, went to Bombay, Delhi, and other places, I found that other other newspapers are around. You see, I have been to almost all cities in India, state capitals, but none of them match Chennai for diversity. You name it, fine arts, cricket, sports, if everything was covered. You, you, if you had an interest, you could find something in the Hindu. Now, all kind of online. <laughs> that is, news is being compressed to being into give it to you in bullet points. Whereas even today, I tell you, an article by Fingleton is is worth it to read. It's K. Garunadan. Yes, you can read. But nowadays, you get bullet points. You see, twelve years ago, I went to Bombay. The idea was to float the IPL. What was on my mind was Chennai is one was one of the original test centers. So, if somebody did not bid for Chennai. Chennai will lose, and there will be no IPL in Chennai. Forget who who won it. So that propelled me to go and put my hand up for Chennai, and we got it. Then, what is the name of the, uh, the team? Okay, you got the team. We asked uh, Srikanth, who was the most entertaining batsman of India. So he tossed the ball and uh, said. He asked people to give the name. We had about three hundred odd names. Out of that, we chose Chennai Super King. That is how it came. Alongside, you know, this I have to mention. See, we had just done a QIP or some some raise money. So investors did not understand that I ninety million dollars I had put into cricket. They didn't realize that. Ninety at four forty rupees was the subscription that you get every year, and you will get a return. You you will get a part of the central rights. It's not like we we squandered the money, but hundred and thirty, hundred and forty analysts were on the call to ask me. So finally, I I got I shouldn't say tired. I got tired in the end, and I said, listen. The market cap of Chennai Super King will be more than that of India Cement in due course of time. Then one smart Alec asked me, "If you think it's so good, why didn't you buy it yourself?" I said, "I wanted all the shareholders to benefit, not only me." There was a lot of opposition to the CSK. Now everybody say two two billion the market cap this much. Sir, only thing, no. Everybody likes a winner. Nobody likes a loser. A great experience. I'm proudly made of Chennai.